The recreational sale of marijuana is one step closer to becoming a reality here in New Jersey. The Cannabis Regulatory Commission began accepting applications from entrepreneurs looking to become licensed cultivators this week. Businesses that want to sell recreational marijuana will start applying in March. Recreational sales will start at established medical marijuana dispensaries first, and there's concern those recreational sales could mean less availability of cannabis for medical patients. We're not talking about uh, somebody who's got an ache in their leg. We're talking about people with cancer. We're talking about people with Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis. I don't think the, the state has acknowledged that there's not enough cultivation available. You know, if growing from seed, it can take uh, up to six months for a first crop to be, uh, you know, to be harvested. So um, time is certainly a, an issue, but that's why we're, uh, you know, I think we've established a application process uh, as far as new applications that really is focused on providing access to the market to entrepreneurs, um, particularly entrepreneurs who uh, own, own social equity businesses. Medical marijuana dispensaries wanting to engage in recreational sales must certify to the commission that they have enough supply and the operational capacity to make sure patients have proper access. These cultivators are a good step in the right direction. Uh, that's okay. But seed to sale is uh, four to eight months from the time you put a seed in the ground till you can sell that product out, out to somebody that in need. So it's, it's not as easy as just approving cultivators. You've got to wait. Will there be sufficient grow to open ruck? Absolutely but it isn't here yet. And opening it precipitously is gonna squeeze out all of those legitimate medicinal patients who've been loyal to this program since it was first born. That's, that will never ever happen. Patrick Johnson is the regional president for CureLease Northeast Operations. The company, which runs three dispensaries in New Jersey, is preparing to enter the adult use market here. Johnson says he's confident medical patients won't suffer once recreational sales are approved. Cureleaf on its own, um, you know, assuming the medical market doesn't grow by a factor of five come adult use, which we never see in any state, it, you know, hopefully it stays, it stays flat or there's some small growth. Um, but Cureleaf on its own right now can easily supply the entire medical market, let alone, um, you know, just a Cureleaf patients. So we have a fairly healthy patient base in New Jersey. Uh, but we have canopy, uh, cultivation canopy that far exceeds the demand, the current demand of our medical patients. So we have, we have a lot of vaults full already almost, you know, because we, we had, a, we had planned for adult use coming in, you know, Q4. So right now we're kind of building up inventory and I know a lot of the MSOs are doing the same thing. Officials at Harmony Dispensary say they're also prepared to certify their supply is more than adequate. The current uh, cultivation side is a little bit uh, intricate once you're you're required to test and package different products for the adult use market and and the transition um, from the medical market to the adult use market in relation to the cultivation is what we're waiting for farther guidance from the state on that's something that is important to get right because um, that's something that we'll use the basis to to use um, and, and transition. Medical marijuana advocates say they want the state to release data on how much cultivation is available to ensure patient demands will be met once recreational sales begin. A start date for sales has not yet been set. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.